Hello and welcome to Boxhead Nation, and I'm your host, the Boxhead Gamer. Let's get into it. Okay, um, how do I get to where I need to go? Do I climb? I doesn't look like I can climb Maybe this. there's a way through the barn. How do I get into the barn? How do I get into the barn, though? Oh, here? No. Wait. I'm seeing the X button. There we go. See what I need to do. Oh, shoot. Breathing quietly. Yeah, he's, he's breathing super loud. Yeah, this guy is definitely gonna get caught. He's just like. 
I mean, if he doesn't get blasted by a little crane first. <laughs> oh, man. There's got to be a way back to the village. Okay, I got a couple batteries. Okay, so if I find any bandages, I could use some. Yeah. Now that I'm getting used to it, it's a lot more predictable exactly how you get the Rona. It just follows the... Oh, and then the weird light or whatever happened. What in the world? Why are all these birds dead? What was that? Yeah, this this place, they just need to burn it. it it's just burned it to the ground. Because uh, they got dead away. birds all over the place. This is how you get like bird flu and like Ebola and whatever else. You're getting all the all the diseases here. Can I just like jump it? Um, no, I cannot jump it. It was worth a try though. We will say it was worth a try. But I want my battery. There's gotta be another way. Yeah, I need to. I guess maybe this game wants you to have your camera out more often. I don't know. A teacher once told me that the music of birds was proof that God exists and loves us. Oh, okay. So far, this one, I have to say, is a bit scarier than the, the first game, simply because the environment for me is more terrifying. <clears throat> that and the fact that, like, you can't, you can't just, like, run away from people to regenerate your health. Because that's what I did in the first Outlast. I would, like, just, like, uh have the enemy chase me around an area and then they I would get away and heal up by the time they found me again story wise though this one I think if I was collecting all of the little like lore camera po points it might be better but I, I like the Outlast 1 story better, even though the ending was garbage. A church? No, no. It's some kind of heretic temple. Oh, wait, we 
got more batteries. Um, let me see if there's anything else around here. No. So it looks like we jumped this. <laughs> There's got to be a way back to the village. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this this is this is probably going to be in my nightmares now. I'm just gonna be waking up, like, screaming, Not the woods! Not the woods! Oh, I thought there was a person there. Violence? I, I don't think that's such a thing, my dude. Well, and maybe it is, but I am not down for the violence. I, I, I would just rather, um, let's be friends. I'll be your friend, you be my friend. We'll, we'll sing that, like, Barney song. And we'll all, like, get along, you know? We, 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 no need for violence. Yeah, I, I think <sighs> so there's a staircase. Um, another note that is more children dead. Not says there is no sin in such infant side. As all soldiers in God's armor, army, martyrs fall in the field in defiance of the archfiend. All those babies with slit throats and charred flesh will be waiting immaculate for us in paradise. Papa Noth also says that our sins find us in our dreams. Our sins find us in our dreams, but my dreams are nothing but mur the murder of my children. And I wake laughing and aroused and often... Oh... I, I woke this morning thinking I was wedded with the blood of a child's slit throat. Yeah, yeah, no. I, th this is... Story-wise, I this is too risque for me. It's really dark. Yeah, I'm just like reading it. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Definitely not the, the most friendly game to stream. <laughs> Is there any bandages in here? I don't see any bandages. Maybe there will be some upstairs. Another note. Um, hard to read that one. Um, oh, I see. So we gotta move that thing away from the window.
And I gotta remember when I uh, end the stream that I want to um, raid another person. Um, so far sleep hasn't been too bad. Um, we'll, we'll see how it continues, because, uh, I've got, like, a whole month worth of, like, scary games to play. That might be an elevator. It's up there, isn't it? Power's cut off. You've got to have a generator or something. The fucking thing doesn't run on prayers. <sighs> oh! Uh, don't, don't enter someone's house. Got it. <laughs> I was just like, let me open. I just wanted to see if I could even open that door. And <laughs> I learned you can. I learned you can there, open the door. It? You just do not want to open the door. Yeah, I forgot to knock. They they might have been they might have been a bit nicer if I had knocked on the door. Okay. This one doesn't have a crazy person in there ready to slash me up. Yeah, it just returned my manners. He's like, learn your manners, boy. <laughs> just whack. Okay. Um, I guess we don't have to be down here. I thought maybe. But, no, it doesn't look like we have to come down here. From this arbor is a place of breaking forth of yes, the children of hell, but also the of our salvation. For God is great, and not is his prophet, and not will ransom us from the power of the grave. And you don't will turn redeem your us from death. On Papa Nut. You don't turn your back on God. From the split eye. We are robed in the crimson glory of revelation. Will she move? Because I want to get past, but she's like right there. The sins of Zion are bound up and all debts to God come due. There's I see her there, but she won't move. Pain, there's blood, but it is joyous all. For we and I... are in the sorrows of a travailing woman. From this arbor is a place of the breaking forth of yes, the children of hell, but also the opportunity of our salvation. For God is great, and not is his prophet, and not will ransom us from the power of the grave. Not will redeem us from death. For even redemption cannot be his. Hey!
afraid of not you is not the lens and the power of the brain. Um, the generator. That's gotta be it. If I can find my way back to the elevator. Oh, shoot! Oh, man. Uh, it's gonna jump in this barrel. The elevator. It'll get me up to the chapel. Uh, can I peek out? Is there anyone? And Noth will ransom us from the power of the grave. Noth will redeem us from death. For even redemption cannot be hidden. So she's just chilling on the stairs. Is there another way out of here? Rejoice. Revel in the ecstasy of the Lord. The sins of Zion are bound up, and all debts to God come due. There's wailing, there's pain, and there's blood, but it is joyous on us to weave. I am the star of the family. From this arbor, the place is breaking for the dead. Get inside! Come on! Come on! Okay, um, I need bandages, because I just, like, went through mine. Uh, no bandages, okay, um... Gotta get back to the elevator. <sighs> this way is forgiven. Oh, shoot me. <sighs> Did she see me? saw me. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Which way do I go? Okay. <sighs> I need to catch my breath. supposed to be locking onto. Oh, that. Temple Gate, founded by Sullivan Noth, the modern Ezekiel. Their knives sharp for the enemy. Okay. Did I... I wonder if I made the no, notification. I'm pretty sure I did. an imposter. I'm in the events. I could use some more bandages. I'm scared. Um, can't go there. I, I'm getting very confused story-wise because I don't I don't know this was Jessica's I don't know what I'm supposed to focus on if I'm supposed to focus on these like flashbacks or if I'm supposed to focus on like the main stuff it's very very confusing to start yanking on doors. <laughs> I 
Did I miss a door somewhere? Can't open that one. This one is jammed. Wait! Jessica. Um, we're gonna do a quick look around for bandages. There we go. Um... Uh, no more batteries. Oh God, Jess. Okay, let's see what this video. Oh, this is like when you they they say like when you play back certain movies, it's like like creepy voices or whatever. Did she just get? What is that? There's a ceiling demon. I'm not down for ceiling demons. They they can they can go. And to the beast. I'll bleed you in the yard. Hey, oh, I have to run. Oh, uh, I also apparently have to be very aware of. A guy just at the bottom area. Okay. How do I get out of here? This way. start jumping over obstacles and then like lock the door behind me. Yeah, this game seems like there's going to be a lot more deaths than the first one. 
and I've started all the way back here. Okay. Save. Okay. Um that oh my neck just broke there. That was crazy. Um So here's the question. Where are we supposed to go? Because I am very confused. Uh I'll try going the other way when I'm crawling through, maybe. But I have a feeling if I go towards the flashlight, they're gonna, like, drag me or something. I gotta catch my breath. Oh, oh man. That was terrifying. Oh yeah, let me view that footage real quick. The chapel. Somebody there will know where they've taken Lynn.
I guess this is where the magic happens. Chairs for an audience to watch. I only saw her afterwards. I, I couldn't have... Oh, great. Um... What the fuck is this? Ah, shit. Yeah, this game definitely way more terrifying than the first Outlast, just because of the... Stairs, or do we want to? Oh, yeah, battery. Let's check this door. Any bandages? Um, he's in the house. confused here. I hope it doesn't send me all the way back because yeah I'm in the house. This, this is like us if we were good at calling out to each other in Call of Duty. He's upstairs! of which way I need to go now. But yeah, we we were we we need call outs like that when we play Call of Duty cuz I am always like is this there somewhere? I'm just like and you're just like where is he? He's over there. You ran past him. Where where though? <laughs> that was like the best parts of Call of Duty or, or not even Call of Duty Apex was fun and we just have like the moments where we're just calling out and he's like he's right there. I found the little hole. I am a worm. Look left, no, my left. But your left is my right. And it's just like very confusing. Oh, are they gonna try and like pitchfork me? I don't like this. I don't wanna get hit by a pitchfork.
this game knows how to put you through the ringer. You're just like constantly running and like, here gets over here! <laughs> Any bandages? Oh, there should be bandages, but there's not. It's an empty first aid kit. Got a battery. Oh, I guess we got through this door. Um, paper is precious. Any use other other ways than the copying of the Gospel of Noth must be with the given permission of a deacon. Theft or wasting of paper will be met with blood punishment. So basically you you take any paper you're you're dead yet you're done for my dude Dunzo Be afraid you're going to heaven. Okay. What the fuck? Going to heaven. God. Before they killed the children. You should have loved me. I... What am I doing? way out, I guess. How far have we gotten in this game? Oh, about like an hour. Okay. If it's anything like the, the first few games, it the first stuff, it'll probably only take like Remember, there is no pain in heaven. Papa gave you life, and so your life is his. God gave you life, and so your life is his. You may not know that you are yourself the enemy. The fear is a tool of the enemy. God knows best. Engage slash study. The, the whale saved Jonas from drowning. Jesus in the desert with Satan. Abraham killed Isaac in his heart. Uh, project. Draw angels. Who could be the enemy? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is... This is like crazy, super fanatic versions of religion. And I've... <laughs> ugh. Like, they, they've turned like... Oh, I have to heal? I didn't want to waste a bandage. I only have one left now. Carson said, said I could not tell you what they're gonna do with gonna do, but she did not say I could not write it, so please do not let them kill me. I love you and I love daddy. Oh man. Do 
do I go through here? How do I get over there? Fence. I can climb that. Just need something to stand on. Okay. There we go. Can I move this? There we go. Big brain. Bandage. Okay. Thank you. Um, where do I go? Okay, this is where I tried to make that jump before. Um, where am I supposed to go? I am so lost and I'm wasting like batteries. The chapel's gotta be close. There's all these hiding spots, but I don't know.
I don't see where I'm supposed to go, though. I'm just, like, wandering around. And I have yet to see where I need to go. Oh yeah, I, I will. It's just gonna take me a minute. The issue is, once I find it, I guess I'm just gonna have to like, uh, I, I don't know, I have no batteries, so pretty much after I find where I need to go, I'll have to, like, basically let them take me out. Because, um, I have no batteries anymore. like a random building. Um, <sighs> oh, I see. I found it. Found what I need to do. So I'm gonna get KO'd real quick, so I can get batteries again. Hey, hey there. Hey there. <laughs> How you doing? battery. Okay. And I'm not gonna waste the, the batteries just yet. Because I think there was also a bandage over here. There we go. It took me a minute, but I just have to push this wagon. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm running into stuff. You have forsaken him. Oh, please leave me alone. it would take her like a couple hits to get through but she just went ha -pa! okay um so now we know uh as soon as we start pushing that um thing the big lady is gonna come through and like uh let me i'm sure i can figure a way to get over the fence okay
how she's over there. Please don't have seen me jump into this thing. She is like camping that thing hardcore. supposed to do this oh another battery She would definitely hear me, right? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace out.